Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this quick video, I'm gonna do a whole full face using Indonesian makeup brand. I'm from Indonesia, but I currently live in the UK for study purposes. So I have a full bag of Indonesian makeup brand that my friend kindly brought me. I mean, I bought it with my money, but my friend kindly brought me from Indonesia. So if you wanna see how I struggle to get this look, Let's keep on watching, so yeah, let's just get started. Here it is. Uh, everything in here is makeup. I didn't buy any tools, so I'm just going to use my brushes and everything that I have to apply them. Let's just get started. I'm going to start with my brows. For brows, I got these two products from BLP. It's called by Lizzie Para. I have the brow definer this is the packaging and I have the brow powder uh, I got the brow definer in color dark brown and the brow powder in brown I think the brow powder only has one color but yeah I'm so excited to try them brow definer is just like the standard brow definer with products at one side and the spoolie on the other side. I think I'm just gonna start drawing my eyebrows with the brow definer and then finish it off with the brow powder. First impression, the brow color is too brown to what I usually like. Oh yeah, this is the brow powder. It came in like this little white tube. It's so cute. And if you shake it, you can hear like there's, what do you call it, marbles? whatever there's something inside so it has like this like a little tiny brush i don't know what you call it i don't think it's brush but yeah but it's powder like it's literally powder so weird i've never seen anything like this before but yeah interesting so i'm just gonna fill them in with this i actually like the color of the brow powder more than brow definer but I feel like this make my brows look so bold like holy fuck so I finished doing the other brows I'm actually a lot more happier uh, with this eyebrows I like how it turns out I'm going to fix this with concealer so we'll see <laughs> let's move on to the foundation I feel like the foundation may be too light because I order it online and this company the shade range is just really weird so I think there's like eight colors or something darkest color is too dark for me like literally too way too dark and the, the shade before that color is this shade which I think well just seeing it from the box it's like way too light for me but you know what you gotta make it work, don't you? This is a makeover ultra cover liquid matte foundation in color beige blast. I've never used this foundation before. Say shake before you, so I'm just gonna shake it. Let's do this. Okay, that's the color. You can see it's very liquidy. I did a one pump and it's already this much. I'm just gonna dot them on my face and pray to god that it will match at least not like too white uh, no it's already too light just from looking at it <laughs> i'm using my real technique sponge to blend this out we'll see it's definitely too light oh my god holy fuck i look horrible oh my goodness I have to blend this very well or I will look like I have a total mask. The coverage is actually pretty nice. I have a lot of dark spot and like scarring from pimples. It actually covered pretty nice but the color... <sighs> God damn! <laughs> I'm so sad. I want, the, I want this to work so bad. Oh. Next, I'm going to do powder. I got this powder from Makeover too. I don't even know they have powder. I actually have really high hope with this powder because the color is, like I think, match my skin. So maybe this could save the whole this situation on my face right now. This product is called Silky Smooth Translucent Powder. 
in color toffee number four. Wait, I didn't conceal yet. This video is just all over the place. I'm so sorry for that. I can't find any Indonesian brand that has like proper liquid concealer and stuff, but I got this like tiny palette kind of. It's called Double Function Kit. It has like beige and then a little bit like tan color in the middle and like I don't even know what color is it, but yeah. <sighs> we'll see. And you come with this like little sponges that like people don't use, but I'm gonna use it. Okay. Oh, I don't like the texture at all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up my eyebrow with this thing. Oh goodness. Okay. At least it's blending okay. I'm so like not happy but about how I look right now like damn I look so white too light this is too too light mm. let's go back to the powder let's see if the powder actually help all right I have my hopes on you and this hat like sponge it's actually really cute okay powder show me your power okay Ooh, yes, that powder is actually darker than the foundation, but I don't think you can see it. But it's like, it's definitely darker. Like I'm gonna apply it all over my face, I don't even care anymore. Oh my goodness. I just wanna save this face from everything. This powder is actually a lifesaver, like, damn. So yeah. Powder, you're doing good. I love you. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna definitely use this in the future. Next, let's contour the face, like bring some warmth and like darkness in the face because this face is flat as fuck. I got this contour and highlight kit from Mizu. It came with like the instruction and like this is how the palette looks. It's actually look pretty slick. Okay, and this is the products. There's two shades of this contour thingy, and I just chose them randomly, so I hope this will work. I feel like it's too light on me, but you know, you gotta work this out. <laughs> just looking from this, I feel like I'm not gonna use the highlighter, because I got another highlighter from a different brand. But yeah, this is called Mizu Alter Ego Contour and Highlight Kit in Rose Palette. Okay, Rose Palette. I have my brush here and I'm just going to use the contour shade to try to save my face, okay? Oh, alright, I can see something in the camera. I, I can't really see it in real life, but oh, I actually see it now. Okay, contour, come through. Save my face, please. I don't know how I feel about the colour, but just the fact that this is like something darker Makes me really happy, like you kind of balance the face. And you can tell I'm applying it literally all over my face. Because I... This face needs colour, okay? This face needs the colour back. Actually, quite happy about this. Actually more than quite happy. Like, they, this helped me so much, bringing out the colour my face like did you see how I look earlier and look at me now it's progress okay progress I feel like I'm gonna finish the powder <laughs> in one go because I keep applying them mm. okay it's a pretty decent powder to be honest not like I've tried anything else but yeah next I'm going to put blush this blush is called chick lit from Amina Amina? Yeah. In color Marshmallow Lady. I saw this review like on the website where I got it. They say for like tan skin people, it looks really nice and not too light. Which is like I'm happy. Like this kind of product exists and I remember this is so cheap. This is how it looks. 
the color it's really pretty like rosy pink i think let's see if it's like not too light or anything um it's actually really pretty it kind of complements my skin tone very nicely as well i think don't you guys think it's actually pretty nice okay emina i see you this is really nice like daily blush move on i'm going to highlight my face so i got the other two highlighter from a company called goban they're like indie brand for indonesia they i don't think they have like physical store and stuff they only sell their stuff online they're famous for their lipstick i think i got one of their lipstick as well but this is like the newest product they have it's highlighter i got two color here number two bronze nebula and number three golden sun i'm so excited with golden sun i feel like it's gonna work on my skin tone but i'll swatch both of them for you this is called bronze nebula and i'm gonna swatch it next to the highlighter earlier this is actually darker bronze nebula actually darker but it's really pink i feel like it's really nice to top on your blush should i top it on my blush okay let's top it on my blush actually i think it will be really nice i don't know how it looks on the cheek to be honest okay oh 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 it's really nice to as a blush topper whoa do you see that <laughs> i may be not so happy about the foundation and everything but this makes me happy because it's actually really cute oh my god okay next i'm gonna swatch this one this one is in golden sun and just from looking at it i'm already really happy like it's like through gold this is how it looks i already have a feeling it will look really nice in my complexion so i'm gonna take my highlighter brush and just swirl it around this highlighter and put it on top of my cheek see you know what i'm talking about guys uh, ha, 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 ha. i'm glowing like from the blush topper and then this this is a really nice combo. Oh, My skin is not the best skin in the world. So my texture is kind of showing. I guess it's because there's like glitter in this highlighter. But I don't think it's very glittery to be honest. But it kind of shows texture of my skin. But I'm not mad because I'm glowing. Like I'm going to highlight my nose. So I won't look like Voldemort. Ooh, 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 and my lips. Okay, next I'm going to do the eyes. I don't know why I did my face first and then the eyes, but yeah, guys, I was panicking, okay, earlier because of all the foundation situation. Uh, for the eyes, I don't have any eye primer or anything. I'm gonna use this leftover foundation on my hand to kind of use as paste i'm using this palette from ines I, uh, I didn't buy it actually last year when i went back for summer in indonesia someone sent it to me to my house thank you so much for nadia for sending this to my house it's really pretty i'm going to swatch all of them for you they're actually amazing look at that pigmentation one swatch holy fuck I like the color is not very as like shimmery as the others but it's really nice i think it'll be really nice to put under the what is it brow bone area okay last but not least is the brown one i feel like it looks matte in the camera but it actually has a little bit tiny sparkles but yeah that's the matte i'm gonna use this color the really pale one all over my lid just to set the thing i think i'm gonna use this contour color as my transition okay i'll do it i'm gonna use that as my transition color so okay there you go i look so pale this close but whatever let's move on and take the brown okay and put it 
and the outer V deep in my eyes uh, I think I'm gonna use this reddish color on my lid it looks really nice I think my lighting is too bright but I don't know if you can see it clearly but it looks really nice guys I swear and I feel like I want to be extra now I'm going to put the gold one literally in the center like that so I'm shiny 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 yeah. and I'm going to just blend them so it won't be too harsh so I'm going to do the other eyes off camera yeah I'll be back okay guys I already did uh, both of my eyes zoom out again and uh, next I'm going to put eyeliner this eyeliner uh, my friend actually told me that it's actually really really nice so I have high expectation it's from Warda it's it's called I expert optimum high black liner it just look like normal liner like that and I haven't even opened it so bear with me guys bear with me oh it's like felt tip kind of thing nice really sharp too it's actually really pigmented guys zoom in again like it's very opaque you don't need like to go all over again to, to get like really dark color so I just did my eyeliner off camera I'm actually pretty happy about this this is a really nice eyeliner I think it's like three pounds god so cheap but yeah so nice I'm happy about it I don't know how we will wear throughout the day though but right now it looks really nice so yeah I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash with this palette again. You can see it's actually pretty smoky. <laughs> this is actually, I think, eyeliner brush, but I like to use it for highlighting my inner corner. I'm taking this really light color. So, a little bit here. And then a little bit down here. For mascara, yeah, I forgot to get mascara actually, but I have this Maybelline mascara that I got from Indonesia, so basically it's Maybelline, but it's made in Indonesia. It's the Maybelline Fall Seas in Waterproof Black. So we'll see. Oh, the one is big. Next, I got some lashes. From the from Indonesia, this is like my favorite lashes of all the time. It's Bling Charm and Natural Flare Number no. Five. Look at it, so pretty. It's like six pound for four pairs. You can use the pair multiple times. I really, really like it. I'm gonna use one of these on my eyes, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with the lashes. That lash is actually really complete. The look. There you go, guys. Okay, move on to the last part is lipstick. I actually got a lot of lipstick, but only three of them are Indonesian brand. The rest are Korean lip tints and stuff. But for the lipstick, I got three of them. They're all Indonesian indie brands, I think. The first one is from BLP Beauty by Lizzie Para in color Bloody Mary. This lipstick is from the same brand as the brow products. I already swatch it for myself, but yeah, I'm going to swatch it for you guys too. There you go. This has a little tint of smell, but I'm not mad about it. But yeah, look how pretty it is. And then next, I have the one from All Over Reaction. This product is Lip and Cheek Cream, so actually you can use it on the cheek, but I don't think I want to use it on the cheek because it's brown. <laughs> Let me just swatch it for you. This one doesn't dry matte. I think I've, I've worn them but it's very creamy and nice on the lips so I'm not complaining I really like the color yeah it's in color leave l-i-v-v next uh, is from the brand called Goban it's the same brand as the highlighter this bomb ass highlighter it looks like this as you can tell the color is similar but this one is melted matte lips, so it will dry down matte in color teddy brown. Look how cute the name is. Right, I'll swatch it here. 
if you see it clearly this one look very similar but this one is more orangey in my opinion this one is more muted brown I really like them and I don't know now which one to use on my lips I feel like I really want to use this one the one from the highlighter just because I already have like really shimmery eye and like really glistening really highlighted face so I want to like calm down on the lips with this like nudie color one thing though all these lipsticks smell really nice this one smells like vanilla ice cream dry down into like really velvet matte like it's not drying it's not sticky the only downside is just you have to layer it a little bit but I like it so I think I'm just really biased because I really like the color let me just pull down my hair and like just transform okay so this is the end product of the face a full face makeup using an Indonesian brand I'm actually very happy of how it looks let me just zoom you in so you can see my pores now I mean you can see the detail of the face I have really textured face but this look really nice beside the really light foundation <laughs> and brown eyebrows but it turns out to be really nice so I'm very happy really really happy let me zoom it back so yeah hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please make suggestion of what video i should do next but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next week bye